I'm very excited about this next week. Can you see me? I'm hiding behind all the toys over here. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, we'll summer make a room. We'll make a room. Exactly. <laughs> summer is here, but the summer learning loss for the little ones doesn't have to be. My good friend Jenna Clark from Toyology Toys is here along with Lisa. Uh, Finling. Finling. I want to say Finling. Sorry, know, Lisa Finling. It, that's Sorry. how it looks like it should sound that way. Speech and language pathologist and owner of Small Talk, uh, showing off some toys that help reinforce what kids have already learned. But uh, Lisa, I want to start with you. Sure. Um, you've been um, in the field for a number of years. Yes. Can you talk about the increase in kids that you have seen in terms of speech and language yeah well um, you know especially since COVID where yeah. a lot of kids were home um, and they weren't experiencing the things they needed to mm -hmm. experience for vocabulary development um, socialization we luckily were able to stay open we treated all through COVID typically the, the for most of our population that was where parent we were the only place that parents went right. but there were a lot of kids that were home and stuff and they just didn't have the experiences to help them grow um, their, and develop their language skills. And we're trying to get them caught up and, and yeah. really reinforce what they've already learned. And Jenna, we're, that's where you come in as well right. because some of these toys help reinforce that. Correct, right. We try to say at Toyology that um, toys can be used as tools mm. and the kids won't even realize that they are learning, but they can use them to help learn and keep their skills up over the summer. So we partner with Small Talk and they came and picked out some toys that they could use as tools and give parents the um, ideas of how to use them as well. So we were going to pick a few toys and have her explain how you could use them. Um, I love that. Summer. I love that. What do we have here uh, on the demo table? Um, well, so we we met and we picked out some of our favorite toys. Um, obviously, any toy is great for language development. Anytime you're spending time with your children and you're doing the back and forth is amazing. These toys, in our minds, make it easier. They have language built into them. You almost can't go wrong in helping your child with these toys. Um, we picked out some for families that are traveling this summer. We've got um, games on the go. These Uno cards are great because they're waterproof, so you can use them at the beach. You can take them, um, you know, you, they can use them while they're running through the sprinklers or whatever. So that's, the, um, my, these my, are My little great. guy, by the way, my little guy is in speech and he loves these Uno cards. The best. Uno <laughs> is the best. Uno is the best. And for parents that, whose kids are going to camp, this is a great thing to yeah. throw in their duffels as like a surprise when they get to overnight camp. When they're sitting at the lake or whatever, they can bring them out and it's a it's a crowd pleaser. So part that's of the, great. Is part of the tic-tac-toe, and, and we have one of these here too, is part of that learning to take turns? Yeah, it's taking turns, yeah. strategizing, and a lot of parents, what I'm finding, like don't want their kids to lose, but it's okay. Kids mm. have to learn to be good losers and good winners. So if you're a parent, like you're, you don't always have to lose when mm. you're playing with your child. You can win and, and that's great too. And I'm they trying have to, to win learn. every you time I play. Really every are. time I, I play, <laughs> these kids, I'm, I'm trying to dunk on them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Jenna, what, what do we have uh, over over here? Some of these uh, toys over here. Um, wait, I love this. This is a Timber Tots little playhouse. It's portable, but it was so neat because Lisa was explaining to me the way she would use it with kids, saying like, here, let's have them swing higher. Can you say swing higher? And it was really interesting just to hear her perspective. And on their Instagram, whoa, um, Small Talk MI, you can see more of our toys in action with her and some of the speech and language and occupational therapists at their center. And so of the words that you use that just kind of accentuate, you know, uh Right. What kids Getting are out. right? What kids are already thinking? We don't think about when we're playing with toys. Like as Jenna said, like how do you like this little boy? Are we? Where are the kids? Oh, right uh, here. This little panda wants to go higher. How? And he's on yeah. the swing. How are you going to make him go higher? You know why? Why does he want to use the singer? Where is he sitting? Or how do you make the swing go higher? And, I, I got to wrap yeah. it up. But, but yeah. these things. What are these things? And why do I have a million of these yeah. in my house? Like, what are these things? <laughs> These are great. Pop tubes. These are pop tubes. You can do anything with them. This is great for occupational therapy. It's great for strength building. It's good for core development. And it keeps the kids busy. It's like a great fidget toy. You can even stack them together and put marbles down them or cars, and the kids love them. All right. Uh, Toyologytoys.com, three locations. Thank you. And small talk. Yes, yeah, smalltalkmi.com. <laughs> Or uh, that's our that's our Instagram. website. Oh, yeah, website. and our Instagram is Small Talk Center MI. Yeah.